Now that we have read the book, Henry Scissors, we are going to make our own collage inspired by him. This week you will need a piece of paper for your background, and then whatever scraps you can find. I'm super duper lucky because I have lots of colorful scraps here in the art room, but I'm sure you can find some things around home, whether it's magazines, newspapers, or maybe you're lucky too and have some cool colors. You will also need a pair of scissors because we are going to be drawing with our scissors. That probably sounds a little bit crazy, but I'll tell you what it means. In our book, Henry made a lot of really unique shapes, just like on the cover here. It almost looks like a leaf. And as we looked throughout our book, there were a lot of really awesome creations. So all of these shapes that he cut out are organic. That means that they are not squares or circles or perfect shapes. They are all kind of random and curvy and natural. So when you are cutting today, I want you to experiment and see which different shapes you can invent. You're going to start by taking your first piece of colored paper, newspaper, whatever you choose, and you are going to just begin folding it and cutting out different shapes. With my first piece, I'm actually gonna fold it in half, keep it folded, and I'm going to cut a shape out of it. Notice that when I'm cutting, I'm turning that paper. I'm not turning my scissors super crazy. So if you rotate your paper, it helps you cut easier and make those unique curved lines. Once you're done, you should have a brand new shape. Also, you can use that scrap paper as a shape as well. This project is all about experimenting and coming up with new ideas. So I am just gonna play around with my different shapes. I might cut things in half. I might try new colors. You're not following me step by step today. You are experimenting and creating your own unique project. Also, this type of art is called abstract art. Abstract art doesn't always look like something realistic. Everyone has their own idea of what that piece of artwork means. It's also created by using different colors, lines, and shapes. That's exactly what we're doing today. We are using our scissors to draw in that paper and create different shapes. As you're experimenting with your different shapes that you're cutting out, don't be afraid to overlap. Notice that I put my blue paper on top of the orange. If you make your different shapes and colors touch, it's more appealing to the eye. Also, as you're placing things, you can always rearrange it if you don't quite like it. So set things down on your paper, and then once you have everything cut out, you can kind of move them around to see what you like best. This project is all about having fun and being creative. So please use this time to cut out some cool shapes and make me an awesome abstract collage just like Matisse. At the end of the day, nobody's collage is going to look exactly the same. If you have glue at home or at daycare, you can now take a glue stick or a glue bottle and neatly glue down your shapes to your paper. If you do not have a glue stick or a glue bottle, that's totally fine. But I would like you to try and take a picture of your collage and then you could always take those loose pieces of paper and rearrange them to make new designs. Once you are totally finished, I would like you to take that photo and please turn it into the Google Classroom so that I can see your cool collages. I'm really excited to see these because everyone is going to have something different. Just remember, these photos do count as attendance so that I know that you followed along and participated in this week's activity.